Hey everyone, this is Mike with Confused IT. In this video, I want to take a few minutes just to go over um, this particular issue with CentOS 8, um, which I ran into recently because I do not maintain my internal, uh, I guess, lab servers that often, and I just found this uh, this issue that I had to go looking into, um, which I knew was coming, but I didn't realize it was going to be uh, 2022 that this took effect, or I guess the end of 2021. So basically, if you have a CentOS 8 server, uh, in your environment, and you try and do a update, uh, whether you use yum or you use DNF, uh, you'll get this sort of uh, update. So, failed to download metadata for repo. App stream cannot uh, prepare internal mirror list. No URLs in mirror list. So, the this obviously I can't update. I also I think I tried on another server I have to install some uh, packages, even though they weren't in that I guess that initial app stream uh, repo. It's still I couldn't do anything. So uh, after some digging, <laughs> I knew that CentOS was going to go EOL at some point, and it did go EOL. Um, so here's the sort of the article page on that, which is basically it reached EOL on December 31st, 2021. Um, there is no migration. Uh, there is no um, uh, the con the 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 mirrors were moved to uh, this vault.centos.org, where they're archived and they're not going to be receiving any more updates. Um, so the only thing we can really do here is to, uh, to change, to update those and to change them to this vault, um, that's into us.org. And then from there, we should be able to update and at least, um, pull that metadata list back in, and then we'll be able to, you know, use other repos or still continue to pull in updates for other packages that aren't, you know, part of the core, uh, sent us, and that'll buy us some time to, you know, to get everything updated and then migrate to another distro um which let's get started here so the first thing let me pull over this document so this is our knowledge base um if you haven't been there before i suggest checking it out we're, it's slowly we're adding more and more content but uh basically we have a guide here let me see there we go um i go just covers the same topic on what happened and what needs to change and then the commands here that we need to run in order to do that so the old repo um, for the old mirror was mirror.centos.org, and we're just going to change that to the oops, to the vault.centos.org. So first thing we're going to do is go into the etc yum repos.d directory. So let's copy and paste that. Um, and if you do ls, you should see yeah, there's all our centos repos, and I have some that aren't centos in here. So uh, this next one is going to let's go ahead and copy and paste this. And get that in there, and then the last uh, next one here. This one's going to go through and update them where the CentOS is matching, and then we should be able to just go ahead and do the DNF update, um, or you could do young update. Let me just add a Y at the end, and then there we go. It should be able to pull up a metadata list now and start updating. And all these commands that is basically just go through all these. Uh, repo files and find and replace um, where it was mirrored at OS.org to the this new base URL where the archive is for all the CentOS packages. Let's see how to uh, see how out of date the server is. Well, well, that's going. I'll say, um, you know, if you're Currently on CentOS 8, uh, I would suggest moving to Rocky Linux. Um, I put that in my knowledge base here as well. I mean, there's a number of reasons why. Uh, I linked to the uh, the About Us page on Rocky Linux. This was this came out as soon as um, there was news that Red Hat would discontinue development of CentOS, and they kind of turned it into a um, a, a CentOS stream, which is basically like a, a I would I would say it's probably not as reliable as uh, you know as, as older versions of CentOS and the original core um, reason on why it was created. So uh, for that reason, this kind of goes over why you might want to use Rocky Linux. It was created by the original co-founder of CentOS. Um, and, uh, you know, just again, to try and be more of a, a Red Hat um, focused distro where it's, you know, uh, there's a bug, I forget the exact, uh, what's the home page here? Yeah, bug for bug compatible with uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So very reliable. Um, it just came out a few months ago, I believe. I've been working on it pretty 
rigorously for a while. So um, definitely would suggest uh, moving all my servers to this that I use for my lab. So I would recommend it. Here we go. There we go. It took a while, but it looks like it's finally pulling in some updates. This is a uh, MySQL server um, or a DB server that we have running right now. So let's see what kind of package we get for that. But yeah, that's basically the whole the whole process. Is it doesn't matter whether you're using DNF uh, if you're, you use DNF or you use yum. Um, it should still be the same directories and the same files. And you can continue to use DNF like I did here, or you could use yum, whichever one you're comfortable with. But um, yeah, so I guess it'll take some time. I don't want to <clears throat> make this video super long. So that should be it. I mean, I did it on the server of mine. It worked fine. Uh, I'm able to pull in some updates now and at least get it patched so that I can start moving over to Rocky Linux, which I did for one of my servers um, that was a Docker host. So that went over smooth. I'll make another video in the future on um, migrating my SQL from uh, one of the M2 and others since I have to do this server, uh, get it over from CentOS to Rocky Linux. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll end it here. Uh, I'll link this in the YouTube description so you can come on our uh, knowledge base and just see you know just some more descriptions. And there's some links here to Rocky Linux, uh, as well as the EOL document um, that CentOS posted. The commands and then also this uh, this distro watch uh, URL, which is pretty cool. It gives you all the different Linux distros out there in case you're looking for a new one and uh, want to kind of compare and see what's out there. So uh, it's pretty cool. They kind of index all of them, and you can just click on them and see some screenshots and read about them and see what what their whole release cycle is and what they're doing. So um, yeah, that's uh, another video for you. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Our website has some resources that you might find useful as well. Confused IT is a non-for-profit organization ran by IT professionals. Our mission is to make IT knowledge more accessible and easier to digest. Thanks for watching.